Okay, I figured I'd do a video for rigid tools. Um, I have an idea for you guys, and I'm faced with a situation where I do not want to damage my wall, but I need to use hole saws. I need to use my hole saws, right, inside my wall. Okay, now I have the job max with just about every attachment you can get, but I don't have a direct a drive half inch chuck attachment right I've got the right angle of drive and I've got all the other attachments but here's an idea for you guys if you guys had a direct drive attachment for this 18 volt with a half inch chuck on the end okay this is what I'm saying here try and make sense of this if this head looked like that like this and it locked in I could do what I want to do and the problem that I have is I have limited space to run a two inch drain line inside a wall I'm trying to show you what I got going on here so basically <coughs> I'm going to be adding in the drain here you can see where somebody's already drilled a hole prior right they just didn't utilize it but if I could have that uh, attachment that I need I could just drop that job max down in this wall and cut that circular hole for my drain and I could also cut in if I had to uh, use spade bits to get in the water lines I'll just tap into the water lines underneath the house actually I'm not going to tap into the wall I don't like putting uh, joints and walls for water lines so I am going to have to use a spade bit and get down in this wall so there's an idea for you guys that are making the job max rigid tools make a head that goes on the 18 volt job max that has a half inch chuck that's basically your right angle your right angle head but just make it straight where it locks in now I haven't seen anything like that that you guys produce so hopefully I'm not making an ass of myself Asking you guys to put something together that you already make, but as far as I know you don't. You got the rotary attachment, but I need something that I can hook up my hole saws to. And if you look at the sh uh, shank on the hole saws, it has to be at least half inch because you get into these bigger diameter um, hole saws and, and they take a larger shank uh, to run these. So... Um, there you have it. Here's an idea for you guys. That would appeal to plumbers, I think, and uh, would would uh, be appealing to people that are doing retrofits for uh, in-wall applications. So, all right, if you get something put together, put us post on my site so I can go buy it. All right, thanks.